24 hours a day, 21 steps, one of the most sacred missions to honor and protect the nameless soldiers under their watch. This Veterans Day marks the 100th anniversary of the day the first unknown soldier was laid to rest at Arlington National Cemetery. Tonight, the Sentinels who guard the tomb in their own words reflect on what service and sacrifice mean to them. November 11, 11 1921. Mr. Secretary of War and ladies and gentlemen, we are met today to pay the impersonal tribute. The, the name, name of him whose body lies before us took flight, flight with his imperishable soul. We know not whence he came, but only that his death marks him with the everlasting glory of an American dying for his country. Our mission is twofold. One, to maintain a continuous ceremonial guard and watch over the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And the second aspect is to ensure that every visitor from this nation, from every nation, witnesses the highest standards and traditions of not only the United States Army, but this nation. So the first day I changed the guard was roughly four and a half months ago, and I have honestly never been more scared in my life. As I stood in front of the door, one of the, my fellow staff sergeants came up to me and said, the reason you're nervous is because you care, so hold on to that. We do not know his station in life, because from every station came the patriotic response of the five millions. We do not know the eminence of his birth, but we do know the glory of his death. He died for his country, and greater devotion hath no man than this. He may have been a native or an adopted son. That matters little, because they glorified the same loyalty. They sacrificed alike. I immigrated to the United States when I was two years old, and I wanted to give back to my country, and service called me. We call it walking the mat. When, when I walk the mat, not only am I thinking about my 21 seconds and 21 steps, which is symbolic of the 21 gun salute, and we're always rendering honors to those unknown soldiers. I think about the unknowns. I think about their sacrifice, their families. It, it is a lot to carry with us, but it's a responsibility someone has to take. We take our job very seriously. We have been guarding continuously since midnight to July 1937. On November 11th, 2021, we will be guarding the tomb continuously 24 seven for 30,814 days. Snow, sleet, whether it be heavy winds or hail or God forbid tornadoes or hurricanes, we're, we're still expected to go out there and do the same job to the same level of proficiency. We still go about conducting the mission the same way because at the end of the day, the mission is still the same. On the threshold of eternity, many a soldier, I can well believe, wondered how his ebbing blood would color the stream of human life flowing on after his sacrifice. Indeed, I revere that citizen whose confidence in the righteousness of his country inspired belief that its triumph is the victory of humanity. You know, back when the tomb was first constructed, people used to come and before it was guarded, they would take pieces of the tomb as a bit of closure uh, to take home as the unknown soldier could be their brother or their father or somebody in their family who never returned from war. And so I like to think about that often. Uh, we always say that what we do here is it acts as a continuous funeral service that will be going on as long as any of us are capable to keep doing the job. Today's ceremonies proclaim that the hero unknown is not unhonored. We gather him to the nation's breast within the shadow of the Capitol of the towering shaft that honors Washington, the great father, and of the exquisite monument to Lincoln, the martyred savior. On such an occasion as this, amid such a scene, our thoughts alternate between defenders living and defenders dead. A grateful republic will be worthy of them both. Our part is to atone for the losses of heroic dead by making a better republic for the living. And we'd like to thank our veterans here at CBS2. Yeah, Brad Johnson and Mario Carrasco and the millions of other veterans across the country for their service.